the world situation has become much more uncertain. Openness, globalization, and free trade have all come under pressure. The US used to promote free trade and the free movement of people. But now many Americans are questioning the benefits of this approach. They feel that other countries are taking advantage of them. Thus, the US has made rebalancing trade a top priority. Rebalancing country by country, rebalancing item by item. It has unilaterally imposed tariffs on imports from other countries, the EU, Canada, and Mexico, and especially China. These countries are retaliating, imposing their own tariffs on US exports, like soybeans, bourbon, blue jeans, and Harley Davidson motorcycles. They want to inflict maximum pain on Trump's supporters, who grow or make these things, hoping to force the US to back off. This tit-for-tat affects business confidence, undermines the multilateral trading system, and threatens global prosperity. There are no winners in a trade war. Small and open economies are especially vulnerable, and Singapore will suffer collateral damage. Beyond economics, world peace and security and stability are at risk. The trade frictions have eroded trust between nations and sharpened tensions and rivalries between countries. The US and Europeans have long been firm friends and allies, but now they are arguing fiercely over trade and defense spending. China and the US have the most important bilateral relationship in the world. They are interdependent, and they also need to work closely together on global issues like climate change. But the Trump administration has named China as America's strategic competitor. And President Xi Jinping has warned that China will punch back and will not turn the other cheek. This is an unprecedented situation. Henry Kissinger recently told the Financial Times, we are in a very, very grave period for the world. We cannot be confident that the major powers will continue to work with one another and that the existing international system which has held the world together for so long, will still hold. We do not know whether after a while new rules and norms for international cooperation will form, or whether there will be prolonged tension and suspicion, mutual rivalries and hostile blocks. We are therefore at a turning point.